the son of South African music legend Johnny Clegg and a talented musician in his own right, Jesse now has two best-selling albums under his belt. What was it like growing up? Because I know you weren't just in Johannesburg, you were on the road all the time. Yeah, well, you know, I grew up in the music industry, so it was really um, the first six years of my life, you know, I was in tour buses and hotels and airports, you know. By the time I was six, I'd pretty much traveled the world, you know, so it was a very um, intense experience, very stimulating and um, an amazing education in the music industry and learning about the power of music and the ability of, for music to convey ideas, you know. It was also very unpredictable and chaotic, you know. When you're young, like, that kind of constant moving, it can kind of make you feel like there's nothing to hold on to, you know, nothing to rely on, you know. So there was, there was good sides and bad sides to it. And so having seen all that, when you wanted to get into the industry, there must have been something in you that sort of fought it, right? You know, when you see the, the, the real underbelly of the industry, you know, you see how the, the, the mechanisms work and how a musician has to carry himself and how uh, disciplined you have to be. You know, a, a sense of, of integrity, you know, it's very hard to keep up over a long-term period, you know, so I think that it, it really gave me a, 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 an unglamorous sense of, of what it is to be a musician and for me that was a really good education, you know, because when I went into it myself, I knew what I was going into. Jesse gave us a peek inside his Joburg studio, which is filled with memorabilia from his musical journey. Obviously you've got all your instruments around you, and I think the most interesting one to me is I saw this when I walked in here. What's this guitar about? This was actually made for me by a, a local guitar maker, and he asked me to choose a theme. We, we just released Clarity as a single, and Clarity was based on Alice in Wonderland, you know, the whole let's go down the rabbit hole. And, and there's this whole sort of Alice in Wonderland theme, which is quite cool. It's got the Mad Hatter and the rabbit. It's kind of a unique piece. There's a place Clarity. One of my favorite songs from the second album is obviously Clarity. Well, I think Clarity was a sort of defining track on the album. It's the first track and it, I think it sort of sets the tone for the rest of the album. It's really a song about um, searching for some kind of truth, something to rely on, you know, and I think that everyone at some point in their life searches for something that they can say, this is an ideal that I'll fight for, or this is something that I truly believe to my deepest depths. You can So what's in the title Life on Mars? Life on Mars is really about, um, I suppose, growing up. You know, I, I had released my first album and I now had a platform and I was trying to push my own boundaries, you know, and within that there's also tensions and there's also trying to find who you are as an artist, you know, because it, uh, being a musician is a very long-term thing, you know, and you have to constantly be evolving and trying to take the next step. So dude, I'm keen to hear you jam, man. Cool, man. Well, uh, let's bring in Richard and we'll, uh, we'll throw something together for you, man. Oh, he's just over there. <laughs> oh. Hey, how you doing, man? Right? Nice to meet you. Man. Oh, good, man. Well, listen, <laughs> I'm going to let you take that seat and I'm going to sit and watch. Thanks. Welcome to Heartbreak Street, where your sorrow leaves you behind. Life starts again. Starts again, starts again, starts again. Seriously, seriously, awesome. It's, when you spoke to my producers and you said you want to do something a little extreme, yeah. So, what do you think we're doing? I have no idea. We're going skydiving, brother. That sounds amazing. Hey, you keen? Let's do it. Budding adventurers take comfort. Skydive Joburg offers a tandem freefall with an experienced diver. You look a bit nervous, are you? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. I'm on edge. You know, it's like, it's all you, man. Like, I hope, you, <laughs> I hope you've done this before. Because <laughs> this has been on my bucket list for a while, but I mean, how, how are you feeling about this? It's yeah, I mean, it's definitely something I've been wanting to do. I'm yeah. glad, like, we're getting to do it. I hope we walk out of this fine. <laughs> <laughs> are you falling, like, with your stomach towards the ground, or are you falling like straight stomach down? towards the ground. So initially yeah. when you're hanging out the plane, you're going to be upright. After exit, you'll be belly to earth. All of this is like a bit of a metaphor to your latest single, Sinking, right? 
Yeah, it is in fact. Like, I do have a sinking feeling right now. <laughs> Maybe when I wrote it, I had like a foresight of going skydiving yeah. and I wrote this song about it. <laughs> <laughs> but are you an adventurous guy? Is this the sort of stuff you do on a regular? Uh, not on the regular, but you know, me and my friends, we used to go out quadding and cycling and we did bungee jumping once. So I do, I do enjoy it, but skydiving I haven't done yet. So this is a first. Got a day with Destiny now. Here we go. Unbelievable. You're gonna do it again, right? No. <laughs> Dude, free falling, you are flying so fast, bro. That was amazing. Wow. When you get out, uh, it was unbelievably flying. quick. Yeah. And I just like you said, just remember to enjoy that yeah. moment. Just keep my eyes open, but oh crazy. Yeah. Huh? One of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. <laughs> you do the happy dance. There we go. Yeah. Want to watch him live? Jess is recording his unplugged album at the venue Melrose Arch on the 21st of this month. Log on to topbilling.com for details.